Ray Salinas presents Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Brought to you by 7 Now. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Let's go Inside the Huddle. Welcome into Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined this week by Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis. Jordan, thank you so much for coming. This has been such a weird schedule for you guys this year. It seems like every week these games, you guys are getting shorter downtime, and especially with this Thanksgiving holiday. Are you getting any rest? Um, that and football. Honestly, those two things, and I feel like um, that's the, the the number one thing you got to do. You got you to gotta rest your body, understand that, you know, this is, you know, what we make our money with, and, you know, that's the only thing I can do. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your lovely mother is here, as well as your girlfriend. You guys have a little one on the way. Mm -hmm. Little girl, right? Yes, okay. Riley. Riley. How exciting is this? And she is due when? January 19th. How exciting is that? <laughs> Are you looking forward to being a dad, Jordan? Yeah. Um, she already got her superpowers. Uh, she already, you know, um, anticipating stuff. She already seeing the future. Uh, <laughs> so no, you're so. going to have a superhero baby. Yeah. No, I'm talking about my girlfriend. Oh, your yeah, girlfriend. She got, her, <laughs> she got her mom intuitions already. So So yeah. what is some of the future, what are, what are the, what is the future showing for the little one? Uh, I feel like she's going to be sassy. Definitely, for sure. Uh, we went to go see an ultrasound and she was rolling her eyes. Really? Yeah. Well, you're a little sassy and chippy for the audience uh, <laughs> that doesn't know you. That's what I love about getting to know you here with this team and, and uh, in the locker room. Did you guys all watch the Amazon special All or Nothing by any chance? There was this awesome exchange. It's Jordan's rookie year, and you guys remember a guy named Des Bryant, right? Wide receiver for the Cowboys. You went after him in practice one day, and uh, Des didn't quite like that. The helmets got thrown off. It got really chippy. What were you thinking going after a guy like Des no, as a no, rookie? No, 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 I didn't go after him. He uh, <laughs> he threw the ball at me, so that's where it started. So, I mean, when you try to, like, disrespect me, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, it's just I'm going to go at you. So, I mean, he appreciated that about me. He knew that day one, that's what, you know, that's what I was coming with. And he he, he definitely tested me a few times. <laughs> but, I mean, it was it was fun with Des. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm a competitor no matter what. You know, I mean, even you're great or, you, you know, you're a rookie just like me, it didn't matter. And you weren't afraid to go after people on Twitter either. I love following. Give give them your handle on Twitter if they want to follow you on Instagram uh, or, or Twitter. Jordan JD. Uh, it's J O U R D A N J D. So. When opposing teams, their players or fans knock you, <laughs> you like you are gonna get a response from Jordan. Where I always enjoy talking to you about that stuff yeah. in the locker room. Is that just sort of like the same intensity on the field you bring to social media? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't say too much on the field because a lot of guys don't talk trash. Like I said, if you if you disrespect me, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, what platform. It's on the field, uh, social media, I'm, I'm coming after you. <laughs> but, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I just like to have fun with it. Um, social media is just social media. I don't get too much into it. Uh, it's just, you know, just me having a good laugh, actually. Who was the best uh, trash talker in that locker room? Because you guys have got a lot of big personalities on defense. Uh, Chidobe Awuzie. Uh, he, he gets under my skin, man. I mean, How's he, he just, get under your skin? It's just his laugh. It's, it's just, I mean, that's that's my best friend on the team, actually. But it's just, that's probably why he probably gets under my skin. We'll talk a little bit more about your hometown and growing up when we get back here on Inside the Huddle. Seven Now pins are popping up all over Dallas. We've turned your favorite parks and other DFW hotspots into Seven Now delivery pins. Exploring the city and craving ice cream? At the park and need sunscreen? Seven Now will deliver what you need in about 30 minutes. So if your spot's pinned, keep playing. We'll make the store run. Get the Seven Now app and discover pin places near you. Hi. I'm Rogers Healy, but some people call me Roger Healy. So when I give out my email address, I say email me at rogershealy.com. It works, but it's kind of annoying because my name is actually Rogers and not Roger. So when we can help you out, go to rogershealy.com or even rogershealy.com. 
It's two different people, but it's the same great service. For all your real estate needs, info at rogershealy.com. But whose name is Rogers? It's just a super weird name. When you're buying insurance, finding protection closer to home is always better. After all, who's more likely to care about you? Somebody at the other end of an 800 number or your local professional insurance agent? The Christina Adcock Agency is a family-owned insurance agency with over 25 years of combined insurance experience that can insure everything that is important to you. Call the Christina Adcock Agency today at 972-495-7788 for your complimentary insurance review and quote. From front gates to water features, Beacon Hill is a luxury lakefront community just 45 minutes southeast of Dallas. Weekend boaters and permanent residents love the state-of-the-art marina with breakwater jetty. It's all part of the art of lakeside living at Beacon Hill. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, everyone. I'm Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis. We appreciate you all coming out here, as well as our sponsors, especially Seven Now, who we're going to talk about here in a little bit because there's a lot of goodies. Mm -hmm. I know that you're trying to stay in fighting shape, obviously, uh, for the season, but I'm going to send you home with some treats. Mm -hmm. So Appreciate it. Appreciate we'll, 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 we'll put an order in for you here in a little bit. All right, so Detroit, what was it like growing up there? What did you love about Detroit? I, th I'm going to sound like such a blonde here in a second. <laughs> I geographically am clearly challenged because I didn't realize how close to Canada Detroit was. Oh, yeah, it's across the street. <laughs> yeah, it's literally right across the street. So cold when I went there a few weeks ago. What was it about Detroit that you loved? Um, I mean, honestly, it was just, you know, it made me, you know, closer to my family. We were all close. I mean, even our friends, it just made us, you know, become like a, I mean, like a tribe. So uh, everything we did, it was for each other. And everything we did, I mean, it was with each other. So I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm very family oriented. And um, I mean, like community, uh, I feel like that's first. And I feel like, you know, that's, that's where I came from. Yeah, straight at home. So. When did you decide that you loved football? Like this was the game for you over any sport. When did you realize that you actually had, there? I mean, there's playing in, in college, there's playing in high school, but then there's a gift. And I yeah. think you have to be a pretty gifted and talented athlete to get to the NFL level. Yeah. When did you realize that you had the gift, that this was going to be a career for you? Um, honestly, I mean, I didn't. I didn't know. I mean, I just knew I was, I was special. I was a special athlete. But, you know, probably until my junior year in college, you know, I, I knew I had a, you know, legit shot. I mean, you know, I, I think I was an All-American that year. Um, and I, I knew I had a legit shot to play, but I mean, going back to when I was five, my mom walked me up to uh, my little league practices, and I mean, I just, you know, I fell in love with it when I saw my, my cousin uh, Kevin Trotter playing it. He would run up and down the field on people. He was in high school, so he was a running back, and I wanted to be a running back. Um, so I just saw him, and I just, I fell in love with it there. And um, she'd take me to practice, and I would just, you know, run up and down the field on the kids, and it was just, it was, you know, it was like my piece, honestly, and I just, I fell in love with it right there, my first, you know, practice at my Little League team. So. Who did you look up to growing up? Uh, my mom, honestly. Uh, she did just about everything. Oh, I don't have to do that. <laughs> I, that was, it was, I'm, yeah, I'm just being serious. That's, that's the honest to God truth. She did every, she did just about everything for me when I was young. Um, like I said, I mean, sometimes we didn't have a ride to practice. She would walk us up there. Uh, any conditions. Um, so I stayed on the east side of Detroit. We played, I played for the West Side Cubs. So like, if anybody knows, anybody familiar with the, you know, with Detroit, that's that's pretty far um, <laughs> to go. So she would sit in the car for me at practice and just watch me. My sister be in the, in the car doing her homework. So she would just sit there and, and wait till the practice is over. So we'd be on the west side of Detroit from the east side of Detroit till you know, 8.30, so I mean, she, she would do everything for me, so I mean, just that, that will, that willpower that I saw at a young age, I mean, it just, you know, how could I, how could I not, you know, do something to make her proud? Stick around, we'll be right back. Got your delivery. Yep, appreciate that, man. Are you Dak Prescott? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I really love this 7-Eleven delivers now because I need these snacks while I watch that game film. Take care. 
Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. Hi, my name is Joshua Jones and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now where I was in dental pain and I had several options but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental and uh, I highly recommend them. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. Buying a car should be an easy experience. At Premier Autos of Dallas, it's just that. You just sign and drive. Talk about cars, they have plenty. They can get you any car you want. Even if you're not on the market for a car, Premier Autos of Dallas can maintain and fix any car that you have. From small jobs to big jobs, our certified mechanics have got you covered. Premier Auto of Dallas, where you can find your dream car. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle, everyone. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis. And we again, we appreciate you being here so much. A lot of people will probably remember you from your Michigan playing days. What was it like playing in the big house, especially in the Big Ten? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, every Saturday, people were tailgating at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, already drunk. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, I mean, it was, it was a crazy experience. So, I mean, it, it, it kind of got me ready to, you know, come to the you know, NFL, especially to the Dallas Cowboys. And it's such, uh, it's a tough school to get into. You actually have to be pretty intelligent to go to Michigan. I mean, to stay. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or not. You still got to do your schoolwork. What, uh, what did you major in? What were you interested in outside Sociolo of football? Sociology. Yep. Mm -hmm. What did you hope to, to do with that degree? So um, basically, I just wanted to uh, start a nonprofit organization for um, student athletes. We kind of in the works right now. I'm kind of working with a nonprofit at home uh, called Sound Mind, Sound Body. So they help, they help kids with, well, student athletes, um, mainly football players with ACT prep. Uh, they take them around. They take them around uh, college tours. Like we went to Alabama, Tennessee, and stuff like that to see colleges. That's awesome. Did you feel like there was a gap there then for student oh, for student sure. athletes not having access to sure. the especially, universities? Especially in, uh, where I was from, uh, we didn't start getting you know offers until I was going to uh, the Cast Tech, and we were you know that was like 2012 when we first started seeing us get all these offers and stuff like that. So a lot of the kids, you know, before me, uh, they didn't get you know the chance to. To, to experience stuff like that. So I just wanted to make it even that more easier to have access to these, you know, I guess different resources like an NFL player or, you know, uh, I guess a collegiate counselor or something like that. So, I mean, just uh, bridging the gap is, you know, basically what we're trying to do. There's a lot of good hearts in your locker room. When I look at like what Justin Lillard does, when I look mm -hmm. at some of the stuff that Antoine Woods does, you guys really, I feel like have these full hearts. And, and Antoine was here on our last show and he talked about growing up and really the inner city in LA. Mm -hmm. And that was why it's important for him to do some of the stuff that yeah. he does. It's fascinating to me that you say that you're working on, you know, this project. How, what are you hoping to accomplish with it? What is the end game? I mean, so when I was growing up, I always looked at it like, man, why don't, why don't any of these professional athletes come back? You know, there's a lot of professional athletes in Detroit that, you know, we had. When I got here, I was just like, okay, what was I, what did I desire for, you know, coming up? you know, uh, coming up through high school, literally, what did I want to see? And I was just thinking like, okay, I'm gonna have an annual camp for these kids. Um, so that's where we're starting off. That's like the basis right now. So that's just to get the kids' attention so we can, you know, branch off to a whole number of things so we can go to, you know, education, you know, get these kids, you know, involved in different things. So we just starting off with these football camps. So we had a football camp in 2018 and 2000, well, this year. And um, we, we gave away 250 cleats 
That's uh, awesome. And gloves and stuff like that for for each camp. So we have them gave them camp shirts, we gave them cleats and gloves, so they could have for their season. So we just and get we have a lot of stuff. sponsors in this room. If you're looking for sponsorships oh, yeah, for definitely. your camp, oh, so can I? Though. We've got some folks. I already, got, I already got someone over here. All right, we'll continue to get to know. We're gonna have like a, just a quick little lightning round. When we come back on the other side of the break. Thanks for playing so far. Stick around. We'll be right back. From front gates to water features, Beacon Hill is a luxury lakefront community just 45 minutes southeast of Dallas. Weekend boaters and permanent residents love the state-of-the-art marina with breakwater jetty. It's all part of the art of lakeside living at Beacon Hill. When you're buying insurance, finding protection closer to home is always better. After all, who's more likely to care about you? Somebody at the other end of an 800 number or your local professional insurance agent? The Christina Adcock Agency is a family-owned insurance agency with over 25 years of combined insurance experience that can insure everything that is important to you. Call the Christina Adcock Agency today at 972-495-7788 for your complimentary insurance review and quote. Hi, I'm Rogers Healy, but some people call me Roger Healy. So when I give up my email address, I say email me at rogershealy.com. It works, but it's kind of annoying because my name is actually Rogers and not Roger. So when we can help you out, go to rogershealy.com or even rogershealy.com. It's two different people, but it's the same great service. For all your real estate needs, info at rogershealy.com. But whose name is Rogers? It's just a super weird name. Seven now pins are popping up all over Dallas. We've turned your favorite parks and other DFW hotspots into seven now delivery pins. Exploring the city and craving ice cream? At the park and need sunscreen? Seven now will deliver what you need in about 30 minutes. So if your spot's pinned, keep playing. We'll make the store run. Get the seven now app and discover pin places near you. David Thomas with Premier Autos of Dallas, and I want to thank Dak Prescott for being our customer and our friend. And how do you like your car? Oh, I love my car, and I love the service. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Dak. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater, joined by Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis. Now, before we get into this segment, you know, I did promise you that even though you were getting yourself uh, trained for the season, that I yes. had a few goodies for you. Are you a snack food guy? Yeah, I can get some snacks. You like some snacks? All right, well, we've got some trolls, trolleys in here. Yes, Ariel's <laughs> a fan of it. We've got M&Ms, we've got Cheetos, and here's what's cool. You know, as she's getting through this last month of pregnancy, I would imagine that the food cravings come from time to time. So Seven Now wanted to hook you up with this, but we're also going to get yes. you enrolled in the, the app. They'll bring whatever you want to your house. And it's also cool for those of you that are in the audience and at home, you can get ice, you can get uh, beer and wine, everything delivered to your tailgate or for those, some of those things that you guys forgot at the last minute. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So what's your favorite binge food when you're, when you're just... You're really up in your feelings, Jordan. Uh, I just grab anything. Just grab anything, yeah. huh? What do you try to stay away from during the football season? Sugar, period. Sugar. Yeah, like anything sugar. Yeah. So you you don't need these then. I'll just I'll take those. No, 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 no. Ariel's not gonna let me take those away from her. Nah, She's all in. Yeah, yeah. She's all like in. Off. You guys are looking fly when you're coming in. You know the Cowboys. You know some teams they let you just wear the track suits. Yeah. Garrett makes you guys wear the full-on suits yep. on the plane, uh, which I gotta imagine is is rough sometimes. What goes into picking out the look? Am I feeling it right now? Do you get excited about it? It's like a fashion show of sorts for you guys, because you you know you guys have got this team photographer, and I love when he's getting text messages like last week. Ezekiel Elliott texted the team photographer, said, yo, you got to come outside and get a picture of me. <laughs> but then you guys will take those photos and then you flex on the gram. Yeah. So obviously a lot goes into Amari Cooper always looks clean. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys feel like pressure to keep up with each other? Not me. I don't, I, like I said, I, I'm focused on the game. Uh, I, I mean, like I said, I'm not even eating, so I'm not. You know, He's I'm got not the helmet on. See, that's that Michigan mentality, you know. It's just like, it, just go to work. Uh, I mean, there's some guys that want to be flashy in Michigan, but Kayvon's from Michigan. I love Kayvon Frazier. Yeah. Now, that's a guy that loves fashion. There it is. He came here on our show. I don't know if you guys remember when Kayvon Frazier was here, 
And he said that he enjoys going shopping for his wife because he loves fashion and that half the closet, actually, he said pretty much 75% of it was all of his clothes. Yeah. For so sure. is he a, a consultant of sorts with you? Yeah, he definitely trying to give me tips all the time. Like, if you need, like, anything, like, fashion tips, any anybody, like, to find something for you, that's the guy to go find it for you, for sure. So, I mean... Like I said, I'm, I'm not really worried about my fashion before the game because, like, I'm so locked in that it doesn't matter. So, so. You're an intense dude when it comes to the football. Like, the, the yeah. game of football, the approach. Yeah, I mean, you got to respect it, honestly. We've got one more segment coming up with one of our favorite sponsors here on Inside the Huddle. So we'll see you here in just a bit on the other side of the break. Buying a car should be an easy experience. At Premier Autos of Dallas, it's just that. You just sign and drive. Talk about cars, they have plenty. They can get you any car you want. Even if you're not on the market for a car, Premier Autos of Dallas can maintain and fix any car that you have. From small jobs to big jobs, our certified mechanics have got you covered. Premier Auto of Dallas, where you can find your dream car. Hi, my name is Joshua Jones and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now where I was in dental pain and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental and uh, I highly recommend them. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. Honey, are you ready for game day? Joey, are you ready for game day? Here you go. Blow that coffee. Ah. Now you're game day ready. Get your 7-Eleven favorites delivered with the 7-Now delivery app and get $7 off your first order with the code. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Jane Slater of the NFL Network, joined by Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis and one of our lovely sponsors, Shane from Stellar AV and Home Theaters. Now, what's cool is you've been one of our sponsors over the years and you've had access to some of these awesome players. You've done LaDainian Tomlinson's house. Hmm. You outfitted Byron Jones here recently. What do these guys typically want in their man caves and home theaters? Yeah, so um, they want the best of the best, right? And uh, Ladanian, um, you know, he built this big house in Vaquera, about 30,000 square feet. It was a personal friend even before he started off. And, uh, and then he contacted me and said, hey, can we do something crazy? And we did something real crazy. I don't want to tell you how much he spent, but he's well, got... Well, just tell us what craziness looks like then, without the price tag. Okay, craziness looks like about, about 48 TVs in his house. 48? Okay, about 60 zones of audio, a golf simulation room. Wow, NFL a, Network is paying him well. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk hey, about my Hall contract. Of, he's a Hall of Fame. <laughs> a video wall with eight TVs. A video wall is something that's expansive that you can watch eight different games. Um, he's got a lazy river in the back that we actually simulated with music. And then he's got a Bellagio-like fountain effect which has music playing, you can play his best music out there, and it plays across his whole space out there. So, wow. he and Torsha, uh, amazing people, the best clients you can ever, super nice people. And it was a privilege to work in their home and be a personal friend and, and take care of whatever they needed at their place. So Man, that's like home theater and uh, electronics on steroids. My dad would totally geek out about this. And, and don't forget, like, I'm not even talking about the media room. The media room 
was a state-of-the-art theater room that he had with all his jerseys from all his teams, t starting from TCU up to San Diego, the Jets, everything. And he had helmets all around the, the whole. It was amazingly designed. We, we recruited a company, uh, actually locally here in Dallas, I can, you know, and, and, and they put together the whole, the whole space and uh, designed the space, rather. We implemented the whole thing. And you asked about Byron Jones. Byron was your buddy. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I texted you a picture and he said, yay, yeah, that's my boy. So uh, Byron, um, we, just, we just wrapped up an amazing space at his house. He wanted it done right before Thanksgiving last week. And we got it done. And uh, his family saw his house for the first time. He's a big gaming guy. If you were able to sit down and envision a, a gaming room, what's something cool that you could do for his house? Of course, he plays NBA 2K, right? Mm. And I, I clapped. I was, I was probably the only one that clapped yeah, out there. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Probably a few others back there, because I play NBA 2K with my kiddos, and um, it's 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 an amazing experience. I would say that the best thing to do is, you know, you're playing. I don't know if you do because you're you're a celebrity, but you play with others on the uh, you know on the web, mm -hmm. and my son does too and uh, you're competing with them. So the best, coolest thing to do is like, if you have your urine and buddy right next to each other, and then you have two, you know, two displays, multiple displays with the best surround sound effect going on, and you could play and then compete, and then the best thing to do is have a actual big scorecard kind of effect on the top, mm -hmm. where you're showing what it is, and you could do cheers. I mean, there's so much, so much, so many creative things to do throughout that whole environment that you would have to sit down with a client and decide what they like. But I would say multiple displays, great audio, some simulation effects. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this show as you have been uh, the last couple of years. Byron, I'm sure loves what you've done for his house. We'll see if, you know, maybe down the line he picks up the phone and has you uh, do something creative with his. But Jordan, thank you so much for coming up here. Like I said, I hope the fans, I, I always love introducing new players to you guys because there are some really great guys in the locker room, so I hope you've gotten to know the guy underneath the helmet and you see what an awesome dude this is. And, uh, you know, you go out there and purchase one of his jerseys and cheer for him extra loud on Thursday night as the Cowboys make the push. And uh, we're, writing it, we're writing a different story about this season. Cowboys to Super Bowl. There you go. Yeah, that's it. All right. I'd also like to thank my boss, Ray Salinas, as well as Chris Vandeventer, Debbie Santens. We appreciate you so much. Thank you guys so much for being an awesome audience. We'll see you on the next one. Inside the Huddle has been presented by 7Now. Other sponsors of Inside the Huddle include AJL International, Beacon Hill, Green Photography, the Christina Adcock Agency, Complete Customs, Crystal Creek Dental, Edible, Elevate Health Clinics, Life Investors Management Company, Penn Mutual Wealth Management of Texas, Premier Autos of Dallas, the Rogers Healy Companies, Star Travel and Tours, Stellar, Taylor Made Heat and Air, Thompson Law, Trendy Marketing, True Choice Benefit Specialists, Empori CBD, and Bella Vita CBD Skin Care. Inside the Huddle is a Ray Salinas production. Executive Producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.